All right, welcome back to another Warzone video. Today, we're going to be showing you guys the best controller settings in Call of Duty Warzone. I've been playing it for the past two to three days. Like, I've been playing an unhealthy amount of this game within the past two to three days. And I have collected what I think to be the best settings to help you go against these three-man squads, considering there isn't solos. And I will be showing them to you guys today. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and leave a like on the video if you do enjoy only like three percent of you are watching that are watching these videos are subscribed so with the 97 percent that aren't subscribed be sure to subscribe so anyways, this is obviously going to be a short video i'm not going to bullshit i'm not going to make this intro so long you're going to hit the start button and obviously we are in our settings now one thing worth mentioning is that i do play claw so i hold my controller like this instead of normally like this i would pull my pointer finger down and kind of like curl it and this is just how I play so I mean I'm not it shouldn't really make too much of a difference these uh these settings will still help you whether you play claw or not but I suggest you switch to claw you'll play so much better once you get used to it in the controls you can obviously copy down all the stuff that I have I have my button layout preset to tactical which means now if you're playing claw you don't necessarily need this because your fingers always down by B anyways but basically it switches your knife button and your crouch button to where right stick is crouch sliding and prone and B is melee it's it's just a lot more comfortable for me. I'm used to it. It's so much better. But if you play, if you actually do play claw, you don't necessarily need it. Stick layout preset will be default. The invert vertical look will be de disabled. Horizontal stick sensitivity. Um, so that's basically all preference. But with this being a big map, you want to be able to move pretty fast. So I have mine at nine as horizontal and eight as vertical. So I so especially with the horizontal, I can turn to the left faster. But when I'm looking up and everything, it's just slightly slower, and it gives me that nice medium. And it doesn't feel as fast as it looks. Like, it can literally go all the way up to 20. So, I mean, I feel like 9 and 8 is a nice uh, middle ground than some people that have, like, 12 and 11. And then ADS, you want just slightly lower. So, with the ADS uh, sensitivity multiplier low zoom, that's for, like, normal uh, aim, aim down sights. So, like, uh, iron sights and, like, the small, like, uh, red dot sights. Like, the smaller scopes, uh, That this is the sensitivity for that. So, I like to keep that quite low so that when i'm in gunfights because like with warzone these medium like this map you always get into medium to long range gunfights so you're gonna want very precise aim when it comes to it so i have that as 0.70 and then the high zoom which is like for sniper scopes and uh magnification levels of 3.25 x or more i have that as 0.90 so i can definitely move it that faster because i don't know i like going for quick scopes and drag scopes so and this is a very big one aim response curve type this Technically, you could go for standard if you're used if you want to stay used to the old Call of Duty's because standard is what the old Call of Duty's used to use. But obviously, we have uh, the uh, linear and dynamic option now. And me personally, I like linear because everything is directly to aim rate. It's completely like the most uh, direct that you can get it, if that's the correct word. And then you have controller vibration. This is honestly just preference. I personally put it on disabled because when the controller is vibrating, it kind of messes up my aim. So I like keeping that on disabled. Then you get to the weapons, which is another big one. Aim assist, obviously the biggest one ever when it comes to controllers. Standard is really, really good. Some people use that, especially if you're used to older Call of Duty, just put it on standard. And if you don't want to switch, I personally put it on focusing, so it really like, helps me stay on my targets. But sometimes it's a little, it can be a little too much. With mount activation, weapon mount, uh, movement exit, and all that, this is all normal, obviously. ADS plus melee, enabled. Hold uh, down to ADS. You don't want to tap your left trigger to ADS. Uh, equipment i like to hold it but that's that's just preference and then the use reload behavior i put that on contextual tap normally it will be on tap to reload to where when you pick up weapons in warzone you would have to hold x to do it but on contextual tap it's normal reloading and you only have to tap x once to pick up this all the stuff so when you're running into buildings you can already just spam x and you can just mass pick up all of the stuff you just gotta be careful when there's like a whole bunch of loot piles you just gotta be careful especially when you're reloading around loot uh, you gotta be careful. And the depleted ammo weapon switch uh, enables so that when your ammo completely depletes, it'll automatically switch you to the, your uh, other gun. Because sometimes when you're shooting, if you run completely out of ammo, you're not gonna notice. So it'll automatically say like, "Hey, you're out of ammo. Switch to the other weapon." Then with the movement slide behavior, I have that on tap because that uh, really makes it easy to bunny hop, which is where you slide, jump, slide, jump, and instead of holding it and having like a slight delay for it to actually slide when you actually press down your right stick, if you have it on tap. It'll just instantly do it as soon as you tap, which is really nice. Auto move forward, I disabled because that can really mess you up, especially when you're trying to stay quiet. Uh, you're, if you have it on, then your character's just going to be running all over the place constantly, which isn't good, especially in Warzone when 
in certain situations you want to stay quiet. Automatic sprint, obviously, uh, disabled for the same reason. And then vehicle camera recenter, I have enabled so that everything stays in the center uh, when I'm on the vehicle. Then over to the general settings, I have brightness at uh, default, just 50.0. Um, Obviously, the input device is controller, unless you have a keyboard and mouse, which I don't suggest keyboard and mouse on Xbox. If you're on Xbox or PlayStation or whatever console, I suggest controller uh, because there's because of the input lag with keyboard and mouse when you plug it into consoles. Film grain, you want to put that all the way low because the higher you have that up, the uh, the worse your game looks. Like the more fuzzy it looks, and you want that completely gone. Uh, tool tips, I have enabled just so I can just when you're learning. Uh, accessibility subtitles I have on. This is mainly preference, especially colorblind. Uh, I haven't I haven't really tested out the colorblind type, so I'm not sure which ones are better than the other. Because certain ones will let you see stuff better, but I just leave it on normal. World motion blur and weapon motion blur you want completely disabled because that is the blur of your weapon and the world moving. As you can see in the examples, well, you kind of can't because my webcam is in the way. But it's basically just the uh, the movement and blur of when you move, which you definitely don't want because that'll really destroy your vision uh mini map shape i put it on square but that's just personal preference you can have it on circle main reason why i put it on square is because it reveals more of the map and i can see more and mini map rotation where with your cursor it automatically rotates with your thing which is just preference all the other stuff you can just put to whatever you want uh and all of that that's just all preference then we go over to audio this is the audio that works for me you can copy it if you want but this is also kind of preference but if you want to hear footsteps easily then just copy these settings. You have audio mix, I put on boost. And then master volume, I usually have it on 100, but I have to lower it when I'm in a party with friends because then the game sound will be too loud. Music, 23, and dialogue volume, 60, because those aren't really too uh, important. So obviously, you want dialogue at 60, mainly because you want to still at least be able to hear the person, like when someone calls in a kill streak or whatever. Uh, you want to at least be able to hear it, but it's not too important. And then effects, you want at 79, which is uh, in-game effects like gunshots, uh, footsteps, all that stuff. Juggernaut music, that's just for multiplayer. You don't have to worry about that. And hit marker, that's just preference. I put it on Modern Warfare. But uh, I'm actually going to switch it to uh, Classic because I just I like Classic. And then all the other stuff is just preference. And then, obviously, there's nothing in account. And that is the complete settings list. Those are the settings that I run. Those are what works for me. Obviously, the past video that I made on Warzone wasn't a really good example because I was still learning. I recorded that within like the first day of Warzone releasing. So this definitely, these settings I did change uh, within the past few days, and they really made me a whole lot better. So if uh, these settings did help you, they did make you better at the game, leave a comment below and let me know if you like these settings. Uh, leave a like if you did enjoy this video, and uh, subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you guys in the next one.